Um, the saga has been going on for about three weeks now. Uh, after a busy day and a few drinks uh, in the London Bridge area, I got home um, and started to experience what only could be see, uh, ex ex perceived as uncontrollable sort of shivers. I um, was curled up on the sofa, uh, pretty much un unable to move. Um, the symptoms quickly escalated to a fever and a light cough. I was experiencing the sensation of waves of small tingles and shivers across my body. And I was finding it really difficult to uh, regulate my temperature, either feeling really cold or really hot with sort of cold sweats, um, etc. Um, the aches in my joints increased and these feelings continued uh, almost as a theme on and off um, um, for, for, for nearly eight days. Um, I had a video consultation within an hour, I think, of signing up um, and the doctor advised that we should call um, an ambulance. So the ambulance crew turned up um, within the hour. They gave a uh, bedside assessment and decided that I should be taken into hospital um, uh, to get some professional care. I was rushed then into um, St Thomas's um, in central London. Spent about eight hours in the ICU before being moved to uh, an isolated room. After about 30 hours, um, the coronavirus test came back um, positive. I was under constant monitoring uh, for blood pressure, oxygen saturation and temperature. Moved shortly afterwards to a six person ward uh, where all the other patients um, had tested positive. The clinicians over the days managed to stabilise all of my vital signs and by day five I felt well enough to, to return home. Um, I was provided um, hospital transport um, to get home uh, where the clinicians were wearing the full hazmat suits. I've got a number of medicines that I've been trying to finish um, since I've been home. I've self-isolated since I've been discharged. Um, I have been wearing a mask. Uh, when in close contact with my family. The information I've received since um, being discharged does feel a little bit limited. Uh, I've been told that I should self-isolate for 14 days since the first sign of symptoms. Um, that has now passed that time um, and it's fairly clear that no one really knows you know, if I'm immune or if I should continue to isolate or if I'm still contagious etc. So now with the rest of the UK and certainly London in self-isolation, I'm going to, you know, keep it up as long as I can. Everybody that I came in contact with from the ambulance crew through to the nurses and doctors and porters, etc. did a, just an incredible job and, and they, they made me feel um, incredibly comfortable and were often wearing a smile that just made you feel um, uh, that more um, positive about your, your health and, and, and the potential positive outcomes um, from their support and care. Um, my message to everyone out there is to take isolation seriously and to reduce the pressure on the NHS. Try and improve your immune system uh, as much as possible. Take vitamins, drink as much uh, uh, fluids and as many fluids as you possibly can um, and try and stay safe. All right, over and out.